Hi Scorpio, Carolina Moon here. Happy to have you here and happy to be here to give you messages. Um, for those of you that, that have never been here, my name is Carolina Moonbeam. I'm a psychic medium and um, I have guides and angels that give me messages. I have a guide, uh, her name is Josephine and she's been very strong with me today. She's been uh, pretty much just throwing the cards out there. I really, you know, I have a spread, but she just is throwing them out there. So I'm going with it. I'm just letting her do her thing. So um, I'm going to be doing a, this reading on love and relationship April 15th through the 30th, knowing that time is fluid, so it can be a little, you know, past, a little forward. Um, yeah. So um, I just want to say thank you for the likes and subscribes. Hit that like, okay? Hit that like and subscribe. It super helps us uh, YouTube folks out here. Um, just doing messages, bringing messages to you, things you need to hear. Um, so hit that like, okay? Hit that like. I can't say it enough. Also, there's uh, a lot of messages. Actually, every reading that I've done today, there's been a message from uh, somebody that has passed on the other side, um, an ancestor, a, a relative of yours that have been coming through trying to get your attention. They're very strong with all of us now. Um, and it's important that we pay attention and listen to what they're trying to tell us, the messages that they're trying to give us. Or, Letting us know that we're not alone. They're there and they will literally move things around in the house. They will, you know, tip a, uh, you know, a painting or, you know, a picture of, and, you know, they'll move your keys. They'll move your, your cup. Uh, you might drop things. Things might spill. You might find change laying around coins and things. So if you're not listening, I'm here to tell you that they're there and they're telling you things. So uh, tap into that. Tap into what they're saying. They're letting you know that they're there and they're uh, there to, you know, comfort you and provide you with um, answers, you know. Um, so if you ask them and you talk to them, then the first thing that comes to your head is going to be, you know, that thing that intuition that you know listen to that um so when i was sitting here in your energy i always sit in the individual sign in in the energy and i uh ask uh josephine to give me a message and ask her to uh, to help me read the energies and i just feel really cozy and dreamy right now like i could fall asleep i'm actually trying to get my energy up here um but I just feel really, you know, dreamy. So you guys could be getting some dreams uh, that are significant to um, things that are happening in your life. Um, dream time messages, visions, and, and things coming through. And I just want you to encourage you to acknowledge that and write them down, journal them. Journaling is, is something we all need to be doing right now with extra time, the extra time that we have. Um, so that came out for somebody. Um, definitely somebody there. Uh, getting your, trying to get your attention while you're in this dream state. Uh, cozy, loving, warm, comforting, uh, nurturing, unconditional love. Uh, there could be somebody from the other side, mother figure, grandmother figure, auntie, uh, feels feminine. That is comforting you. Um, so I kind of got a question on saying, why are you saying uh, feminine just now? So there's a masculine energy there also. I'm sorry, I apologize. There's a grandfather, father, uncle, uh, or that type of figure in your life that is passed on that is there for you. Somebody that brought a lot of comfort to you. Um, okay, because I seriously just got yelled at. <laughs> 
Okay. All righty. So let's get into the reading. I'm going to um, ask uh, Josephine um, <laughs> for an oracle card for you right now to give you a message to kind of get the overall flow. Uh, but this, this particular card is from Josephine. Thank you, Josephine, for being here and helping me get the mess messages out. Help me not to have an agenda, uh, but to do uh, what you need me to get out here for our beautiful Scorpios. Uh, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Here we go. So this is for from uh, Josephine. Message to you, something that she's trying to, to get to you, okay? Alrighty, Mirror Guardian, this has been coming up a lot, Mirror Guardian. Uh, this is really speaks about seeing the value of your own worth, to see the reflection that's in the, the mirror of what's actually there, uh, to, to take note of how far you have come, okay? Take note of how far you have come. Uh, take the the message is uh, take time to reflect okay so I'm gonna go ahead and read it from the book um, even though I just said a lot of what the book says I'm still gonna read because there might be something in there that you need to grab okay that will uh, help you first I gotta get over here to the guardians okay mirror guardian okay Take time to reflect. Take some time to reflect on your strengths, 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 strength, <laughs> strengths, and challenges, and how far you've come. So it's really to look at yourself. Look at how strong you are. Look at the things that challenge you um, and recognize your gifts. Look at how far you've come, okay? See your worth, okay? Um, Angels accept you the way you are, even when you're going through a challenging time. They still hold you in the highest esteem. Wow. Wow. Um, the mirror guardian, a female angel looking into the mirror of life, invites you to witness your spiritual strength and beauty. Oh. To see yourself as the angels. Because there's a lot of us that are here uh, that are called to, to rise to help uh, other people right now. Uh, if you are feeling that tug, okay, if you're feeling the tug to, to rise as a uh, teacher or somebody that encourages any kind of spiritually based business, any kind of thing that you're thinking of doing, it's time, okay? Um, the mirror guardian, a female angel looking into the mirror of life invite, invites you to witness your spiritual strength and beauty to see yourself as angels do. The mirror represents the fact that your core beliefs and ideas are in fact what is reflected back. So if there's something in there, speaking of that reflection, core beliefs, okay, what you really believe is what's really gonna be shown to you, okay? I might sneeze here. Um, your life is one big mirror, mirror of how you feel within, and the mirror guardian helps you recognize that. When this card appears, you're being invited to take some time to see where you are right no. Wow. Beautiful. All right, my darlings. Okay, we got that message out. Beautiful from Josephine. Let's see how it mixes with um, um, our, um, our reading here. Let's see how it flows. Okay, now I'm pulling cards. Wisdom of the Oracle. So this is the deck that I just pulled from in case you're interested on uh, getting this deck. Okay, here, I'll hold it. It's angel and ancestor deck, angels and ancestors. Okay, 
beautiful, beautiful oracle cards. And so this one that I'm pulling from here, I feel really led to do this. So somebody out there needs this information. Wisdom of the Oracle. Okay. And so we're going to, you know, tap into this. Let's go. Let's tap in. Okay. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Love and relationship. What is happening with our beautiful Scorpios right now? What is going on? Somebody's trying to get your attention. It's the masculine energy that told me, hey, why are you saying masculine, uh, feminine? Um, I don't know if you found a dollar bill somewhere. Um, seen dollar bills. Something to do with money. Okay, here we go. Could be Bob. Oh, I don't know. I'm just getting these messages, these visions. Okay, Treasure Island. That's about money. <laughs> That's about, you know, going the distance in your in your goals when it comes to your finances and, and the things that really matter to you. You know, that's a slow moving, you know, I always think of an ancient turtle moving through the water, you know. Wow. Okay. Interesting. Here we go. Fork in the road. I always associate this card with the two of wands. Uh, because it's a, which way are you going to go? It's a choice. It's a choice to be made. Uh, and there's lots of signs and I'm feeling the signs right now. Hardcore. Okay. Fork in the road and, and your ancestor or your, your one loved one that has passed on is giving you information is trying to give you information to help direct you. Uh, orphaned feeling out in the cold, feeling alone. You're not alone. You're not alone. And that's another thing that's coming from your, um, person okay and your guides so you could be feeling out in the in the cold within a relationship or you have put somebody out you're at a fork in the road you're deciding what to do let's pull one more from the bottom uh chop wood chop wood okay so really speaking about uh, cleaning house, kind of, you know, I mean, there's a broom there, you know, cleaning house. So there's, there's definitely feels like there's somebody that needs to go. Somebody that, you know, you're deciding between two people looks like here. Okay. So let's pull the tarot and find out what's up. All right. So I'm just going to pull it, look at it. Uh, beautiful. Okay. Wanted to come out. All righty. So Queen of Cups just came out. Like I said, cards are flying out because they're not letting me have an agenda and I'm just giving it over to them. Okay. Wow. So that would represent you, you, my Scorpio. And if it does, then I am feeling this spiritually based business with you. This is about psychic abilities. This is about intuition, uh, spiritual gifts, tapping into that deep emotional side to, to render, uh, and interpret messages. Beautiful. My gosh. Okay, let me cut this deck. Ooh, justice is crowning. Justice is, oh, somebody's coming back from the past. It feels like, ooh, beautiful. Ooh, having to make a judgment call. Fork in the road. Okay, okay. We have the crossing card. Okay. I've got chills all over me right now. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh my gosh. Oh, wow, guys. Wow. Okay. Crowning card is justice. Justice. Libra. Libra energy. Okay. Balancing the scales, balancing the scales. This is about balancing some scales, the karmic, uh, karmic contracts fulfilled, 
uh, moving, you know, um, moving them out, moving it out. Lesson learned. Check, check. <laughs> um, so you're represented as this queen of cups, this inner knowing, this deep intuition, right? Um, tapping into that. The other person is represented as judgment. Okay. Um, so this is like, well, this is you. <laughs> this is Scorpio. Um, Pluto too. So influencing there, but this is about, uh, the other person is, you know, they could be the, your same sign, but, um, they're, they're making a judgment call. They're, you know, this is all about to me, re the re's, you know, the reconciliation, revisit, renew. Yeah. Wow. Coming back, you know, rising again, rising again, ascending, you know, ascending together. Whoa. And this is uh, represents your relationship, which is the Knight of Pentacles, and it couldn't be any better. Oh my gosh. This is really walking that, that line. Okay. And, and, going farther down the path, walking that line to get to that goal. Okay. It's steady learning about each other, right? Learning and that's earth energy. Um, see how he's not getting on the horse. The horse is just there, you know? Wow. So Virgo, Capricorn, uh, Taurus there with that earth energy. Um, and then we have, this is your crossing card. Competition. Maybe some competing goals, maybe competing opinions. Um, but this is the crossing card. This is like the block. Okay. I asked the spirit to give me questions. Um, questions to answer my questions. I asked the spirit to give me cards on how the spirit is influencing this relationship. And look at that. <laughs> the wish of a new start, the wish, granting your wish of a new start. Okay. This is a rec. This feels like a reconciliation so far. So we're going to, we're going to keep going to find out, but that's what that feels like. You know, man, a fresh new start, open, open to, to learning and bringing that together. Okay, and then I pulled some advice cards and then I'm gonna get, you know, you start into the deck here. So we've got the three, we, we got the three of pinnacles. This is, this is the spirit saying and your higher self saying, work on it, work on it. And you've got the six of wands, victory, and the tower card. So this is really about, you know, both of you having an epiphany. You're getting this information. This information is coming in. So it's like work on it. Work on the information, the, the enlightenment. Work on that, bam, the tower hit. Oh, I get it now. Oh, I see it now. Okay. And the light showing down. See the light showing, coming down? Wow. Advice. Advice there. Wow, you guys. There's a there's a there's an award. An award for work well done. Okay, so I'm gonna start in, okay? Here we go. First card I'm gonna ask is I'm gonna ask what this treasure island is. What is this treasure island? Give me this treasure island here. Page of Wands. This is passion. This is new passion. This is ignited passion. This is the power to act on the passion of this relationship and you guys moving forward to that treasure. What you guys consider that treasure island, you know, wow. Okay, man. Okay, what is this? Okay, see, they just pop out. Fork in the road. Okay, so I was going to ask about the fork in the road, um, but I think this was coming out for the pay, for the uh, treasure island. And it, 
It's, you know, this is the Knight of Swords, clarity. Moving really fast, get moving. Move through this fork in the road, make the decision. The choice needs to be made, it needs to be made now. Um, wow, very fast energy coming in really quickly. I mean, that person's running towards that motorcycle. It's movement, movement really going fast there. Quick clarity, quick clarity. Okay, what is this? This fork in the road is about this truth coming in. Okay, truth coming in. That just came. Okay, the truth. You know the truth, so you know which way to go. Justice is here to help you with that too. Okay, what is this fork in the road? Let's take get another one. Wow, stand up for your truth. Okay, stand up for your truth. Defend it. Stand up for what you know and what you've learned this time, uh, thus far, I mean. Like the reflection in the mirror, looking back, okay? Looking at what you know so far, looking at the challenges that you have, right? But you're standing your ground, you wanna stand your ground and protect what you have learned and what you have thus far. Okay, what is this orphan? Okay. Orphaned is, um, wow, death to a situation. Ten of swords, death to a situation. Something that died from the past. Oh, yes, love. Okay, a two of cups. Being orphaned from that situation or orphaning yourself. What is chopped wood? Chop wood. Oh boy. Hangman. Hangman. These two cards want to come, so I'm taking them. Okay. Different perspective. Cleaning out the old patterns, cleaning out the old thought processes, cleaning out um, um, and looking at things from a different perspective so that you can move forward through the shadows, right? It's almost like categorizing what you know, you know, writing in your journal, this is what I've learned, this is what I know, so I can clean the other out. If there's any other energy that doesn't uh, defend or stand for the new things that you know, clean them out, get rid of them, because you need to move forward. So you have to move forward cautiously to make sure that you're not repeating the old patterns, right? You're not repeating them. So, you know, there was secrets, maybe some, some secrets kept from you, from somebody uh, in the past. And, uh, you know, you orphan them. You're like, hey, no, I'm seeing this for what it really is. I'm looking at this differently now. I'm looking at all these secrets and these things that, that were told or that haven't been told. I'm seeing through it now. And now I'm moving forward carefully because, um, you know, I couldn't see then, but now I can see kind of thing. Wow. Okay, what is this Queen of Cups? Yeah. Tapping into the emotions of healing, healing emotions, the information to help with that healing, to help with that power, to help heal that broken heart from this past thing of lies and secrets and things that, you know, weren't, that wasn't right. Letting go of that and tapping into that knowing within yourself and that emotions, those emotions the tears that fall that actually heal the heart, my darling. Heal the heart. Wow. Okay, what is this judgment? Definitely, you know, it feels like a reconciliation of something from somebody or, uh, or some kind of choice. Okay, three cards popping out. Oh my gosh, four. Okay, I'll wait. I have to look at them in order if I'm going to take them. Death to a situation, moving into a new cycle with passion, 
and promise of passion, uh, laying a burden down, laying a burden down that was there. When you've got the Ten of Wands, there was a burden, overwhelmed, needing to make that judgment call, possibly because you're overwhelmed. The World card, World card. Um, you know, a lot of information about, uh, you know, feels like a new cycle, new cycle and death or death to the old cycle. Okay. So there's somebody that you could be, uh, reconciling with that. It was very hard on you before. Okay. But this person has come out of this situation like this a new person they've come out of that old they've been transformed they've been transformed and they're on a new cycle they have they're looking at things in a completely different way now and this is what they want this is who they are this is the the passion they're up up front they're standing up for their new their new um belief system they've been through it and they have laid that old burden down and transformed their life. They've been doing the work. They've been doing the work. Wow. Wow. Okay. Jeez. Um, oh my gosh. Okay. What is this um, uh, Knight of Pentacles? This is not going to be a short reading, so you might want to get you know, a glass of wine or, you know, maybe, oh boy. Okay. Nine of pentacles and two of swords. Okay. So this is really coming through, working on yourself, working on that independence, working on being single, working on looking away from anything that's going to make you, um, go back to the, the old ways, like, you know, lower vibrational, old, um, patterns, relationship patterns, patterns, you know, of anything in your past, but moving, you know, looking that way, looking towards, well, I'm already secure. I don't, you know, I, you could be, I don't, I don't want to be single. I'm looking away from this, you know, this and headed towards this night, you know, <laughs> could be. Or could be you just really looking away from that the old, old patterns. Um, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, let's go. Let's go. I want to know what this five of wands. Oh. Okay. Wow. Yeah, it's moving forward with clarity. Moving like you can't bullshit me and try to play me and make me go off to like this little rendezvous here. Uh, I can see through this and then you disappear, right? You disappear, you know, <laughs> um, fighting that, that old, what it, what do you call that? That old, uh, temptation or fighting the old temptation, dumb tempted to go off, you know? Um, but now I can't, there's no way. Cause I'm clear. Like I'm clear. I need, or I need to be clear. I need to be clear with you that that's not what I want. I need to, you know, don't try to bullshit me. Like, I know what I want, okay? And I'm going to guard it, and I'm going to stand up. I'm going to stand up, and everyone's going to get out of my way because I'm reaching above, okay? I'm reaching above all of that. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, wow, you guys. Oh, my gosh. What is this Six of Wands? Oh, just tapping into that intuitive, tapping into that intuitive. See, because you're represented here as this queen, the queen and the empress here, tapping into that intuition on this whole situation, tapping into it, having victory, being able to see what's coming in this epiphany, okay, about this situation, right? Because... This is what's happening. This is how the spirit is influencing this union. This is how the spirit is influencing this union. Trying to tell you that this is your, you know, I'm giving you your wish. Okay. 
This is a brand new passionate beginning here. This person in this situation has been reborn, transformed, and come up and, and rose, uh, you know, like the phoenix from the ashes come up and has become this beautiful, incredible um, new person because of what they learned. They've really been through that really hard ass dark night of the soul kind of stuff. And so you're, you know, it could got, get you a little twisted, okay? You could have had this person out in the cold. Look, I'm not, nah. You know, I've already been through stuff with you. I don't know how I feel about it. Um, you know, I need to see how I feel about this situation. Well, I'm here to tell you that you're going to have victory over that. Pay attention to that loved one that has passed on. They're giving you signs, okay? They're giving you signs about this. And meet me over at the extended because we're going to get more information about this person and pull more oracle cards, all kinds of stuff, okay? All right, my loves. I'll see you over there. Okay, bye, Scorpio.